Brain Leak! Welcome back, everybody! It's your boy, uh, Peter Sampras. Uh, people call me Pete Sampras, <laughs> expert tennis player. How's everybody doing out there? How's your backhand doing, huh? Hey, Ethan, buddy. Aww. How's it going? How's your balls? <laughs> Oh, tennis. man, my balls are, are tennis balls? Yeah. Oh, they're so good right now. They've got all this little fun. Here's a great question <laughs> that maybe the people at home can answer. Sure. Many different colors in the world, right? Uh-huh. Why tennis balls that color? <laughs> so you can <laughs> see them on the court. Is is that why? I mean, I that makes sense, it's for sense, visibility because they fly so fast. You need to be able to see it. That makes sense. Actually, also, that's a good point. whenever I say, what color is a tennis ball? Green. See, and I, I have said that before for a tennis ball, and somebody's gone, tennis balls are yellow. I'm like, no. Some tennis balls, I guess, are yellow, but I, I think Wimbledon regulated tennis balls are just really bright green, like a really nice lime, like this liquid death lime that I'm drinking right now. <laughs> oh, uh, I think, it, I think. Tennis balls are, it's up for interpretation. No, it's um, not. A color is a color. <laughs> well, well, it's like right, if you pull up a picture of a tennis ball, put a picture of a tennis ball up on screen right now. It's right in the middle. Actually, take, let's make this really way more difficult than it needs to be. I'm okay? like red, green, colorblind as well, by the way, like partially. Are you? Yeah. I did not know that. Very, okay. very, very slightly. Like I can see red and green, but when colors start to like blend, like where where purple turns into red or blue, I'm like, dude, I don't know. <laughs> so here's what we're doing. I've uh, I've brought it into Photoshop, guys. This is crazy stuff that we're. Oh doing. Oh my god, are you gonna? Um, are you gonna swatch gonna, it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eye drop it. Real quick. <laughs> okay, making a new layer. Turns really out it's quickly. exactly in the middle of that. So it has a hex code here of D6E614. Ah, uh, that's um, what color it was. Ah, idiots. Yeah. How could you? And Google it's that. like, it's, it's more, it's more, ah. Uh, it's like right in between green and yellow. It's like right where they overlap. It's, so it's it really right there. Be, it's right there. You gotta be right next to me to see green. So it's it's that's a tough one. I think that I think that there's not really a wrong answer for this. I'm gonna Google it. What color are tennis balls? Um, Roger Federer weighs in on the debate as people are divided on whether tennis balls are yellow or green. Now, if anybody knows, it's Roger Federer. Except I don't want to fucking go through an article from BBC. Yeah, just tell me. Yeah. Just tell me. They're yellow, right? Says the Swiss man. I don't know. This, this uh, picture of tennis balls looks real green. It, it depends. I'm trying to think now, are the tennis balls that we all get as kids and for dogs and stuff, they're like green, but Wimbledon tennis balls are yellow? Mm, mm, I don't know. Is the dress black and gold or blue and black? Hmm. I'm gonna- It's, it's I'm blue gonna, and black, by the way. I'm gonna do a Twitter poll right now. Ooh. Our, Tennis Do balls. eggs go in the fridge? Yes or no? Or yellow? Uh, do eggs go in the fridge? I put that up on Twitter one time because I knew I knew the answer that Americans put eggs in the fridge and we don't because of the way it's washed. Um, but I knew it would divide people, and then I knew people would be arguing in the comments about it because I was like, I want you all to learn about each other's egg culture. And they didn't. They just got mad at each other because I realized it's Twitter and <laughs> what were they going to do? Do you put bread in the fridge? No. I don't either. Isn't bread in the fridge a breeding ground for mold? Wouldn't that make your bread go moldy quicker? I don't know. Because of condensation. Condensation. I don't, I don't know the rules with bread in the fridge. I've never put bread in the fridge. And the other day... Um, Jocelyn was grabbing stuff for video, and she was like, hey, going to get stuff for video, do you need anything just, like, for the house? And I was like, yeah, actually, could you get some bread? And then, 
later, she came back, and I was like, hey, where's, I can't find the bread, and she was like, she oh, it's in the fridge. bread in your fridge? Yeah. And I was like, putting bread in the fridge? Yeah. Never put, keep your bread in the fridge. The starch molecules in bread recrystallize very quickly at cool temperatures and cause the bread to go stale much faster. Oh, there we go. Science, baby. But there's a lot of things that, it's like you go to the store and then you buy the thing and then you come home and you put it in the fridge. Like I have, I have our ketchup in the fridge. And then I'm like, yeah. you don't buy ketchup Wait. in a refrigerated aisle. Why? Like when I was younger, we never put it in the fridge, but now I put it in the fridge because I'm like, I like cold ketchup. But uh, wait, that's a that's a good question though, is because there's a lot of stuff that you buy, and it's unrefrigerated. But once you open it, you're supposed to refrigerate. True, it. true. And that's I don't, very I don't know true. if ketchup is is one of those, but I've always kept my ketchup in the fridge as well. Yeah, now that I'm saying that. I'm like, wait, why do I keep it in the for fridge? stuff like that? Like we buy long shelf milk, like almond milk or something. But that doesn't be, that's not refrigerated in the store, but we refrigerate it anyway. I don't know if you're supposed to or not, but I'm like, it feels like it's better safe than sorry. Yeah, it feels a little bit blasphemous to keep uh, something that's supposed to be mimicking milk not in the fridge. Yeah. It's a little weird. I'm like, I don't want my milk laughing at me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't but you could say milk. I'm a milk drinker, which makes me a baby. I love calling people milk drinkers. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking milk drinker. <laughs> it makes them sound so childish and weird. Oh, I like drinking what? milk, though. I'll have a pint of milk. I used to drink pints of milk every day as a kid. With mm -hmm. my din-dins. Which, I can't remember if we t have talked about this before. Everything that we've ever said on this podcast, we've said before. It, isn't it a myth... Wasn't it a a big, uh, it was a big scam by Big Milk when it was like, got milk? And it was like, you have to drink milk to make your bones strong. Isn't that not true? So the thing with milk is that it has calcium in it and calcium is in bones. And calcium can make your bones stronger. But I think you need vitamin D to process calcium. So I think if you're not getting vitamin D, the calcium in milk is less effective. But I've also said things on this podcast that are very wrong. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it is a scam to get big milk to fucking squeeze those udders a little more. Yeah, they might be. Utterly they... ridiculous claims coming out of big milk today. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. It's a joke with <laughs> udders. Because on a cow, there's udders, and that's where the cum comes from. Isn't that oh, That's so funny. And that's what we all drink. Is that where uh... baby cows come from? He is stored in the udders. Oh man! Wait, wait! You're on to something. Do you think cows sit around right and they're there. like, check out those udders and check out the other ones? Ha! <laughs> and it's like, oh Bessie, you're a hoot. Do you think cows, adult cows, ever try and drink the milk? You know, like when do yeah. they stop? At some point, do the, are the cows just like, ah, I'm good. Yeah, or it's like, dude, mom, I'm too old to be drinking your milk. No one's telling them. No one's telling them that they need to stop. That's genetics, baby. Hereditary. One day he's like, I have given up on milk now. Grass is new best friend. Munch, munch. Munch, 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 munch. I hope <sighs> that adult cows have tasted each other's milk. I think, I think... Probably... Probably weirdos. They had to have. They had to have been like, oh, wait, I used to do that. Why don't I try that again? Yeah. I wonder if it tastes the same as my memory. Do you think cows would take a bite out of you if given the chance? No. Why not? Well, isn't that crazy? Aren't instincts just wild? How did it happen? <laughs> I don't know. We instinct. should have someone smart on the podcast to tell us how instincts work. I saw a video... Uh, shout out TikTok, where it showed a dolphin giving birth, which is weirdly very similar to how we give birth as humans. But it just takes off, and the baby pops out, and the blood goes everywhere. But then the baby's just like, "Woohoo! Here I go! I've been trained for this, baby." It's like, how did you know how to do it? Like horses stand up when they're born. It's like immediately. How did you do that? When we're born, all we do is cry and shit ourselves. Brain leak. I've got a boil on my arse the size of a grapefruit. Who will help me?
Huh. I want someone that speaks my language. <laughs> Wait, I just opened the thing. I don't know what. I don't know how to respond to this joke yet. <laughs> you know when you get concerned that you go to a doctor and you're like, oh, I don't know if they'll understand. I want them to understand me. I want them to tell me what's wrong. I want to go to someone that understands me, and I can do that with Zuck Duck. You know, it's tough going out there in the real world trying to find a real doctor. You have to sort through all these different places in person. I don't want to do that. Wish there was a place where I could find and book tens of thousands of top-tier doctors with verified patient reviews. Hey. When it comes to your health, there's no compromise. So don't back down and go to... So don't go back to that one doctor who uses your appointment to catch up on the latest headlines or their family. <laughs> That's a no-no. I don't want to talk to you. Just <laughs> tell me why I'm shitting so much. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, check out ZocDoc, the place where you can find a book doctors who will make you feel comfortable, listen to you, and prioritize your health. It's a free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in-network doctors near you and instantly book appointments with them online. Yeah. You can find a doc you want and you can book them immediately. No more waiting awkwardly on hold with a receptionist. Mm -hmm. The typical wait time to see a doctor booked on ZocDoc is just 24 to 72 hours. In real life, you could be waiting weeks, months, years. So, go to ZocDoc.com slash BrainLeak and download the ZocDoc app for free, then find a book of top-rated doctor today. Now, I know that was difficult to understand, so Ethan's going to spell it out for you. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash BrainLeak. Z-O-C-D-O-T. Yeah, wait. <laughs> ZocDoc. <laughs> Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash BrainLeak. Wow. BrainLeak. If I feel like if you there's some babies in the in the world of the animal kingdom where it's like once the baby's there, like turtles, for instance, uh -oh. the mother goes and lays the egg and then all the baby sea turtles, they they come out of their shell and they have to make their way from the beach to the water. And that's their big thing is making it from the beach to the water. A lot and then of they're just die. on their own. A lot of them die. A lot die. of them die. It's very sad. I saw a video. Goals got the eat. other day. <laughs> also on TikTok. Of people like ushering uh, the sea turtles into the into the water and making sure that they all get into the water and mm -hmm. like you know there were goals around and stuff like that and I understand but I don't particularly agree with that if I'm honest. You want nature to take its course? Yeah, you know, like it's like that big thing that was going around a while back, which I guess was proven to be a hoax but do you remember the frog army guy where he like saved all the baby frog eggs and he like put them so oh, he apparently it, it turned out yeah it turned out to be a hoax and it was a video from like a long time ago that he reused but the whole thing was he took he took frog eggs that were in a pond and it was uh you know the seasons were changing so a lot of them like a majority of the eggs would not survive but he yeah. took all of the eggs and made sure that all of them were warm enough so that they could all be birthed. And then he had a ton of frogs. They were all released. And again, apparently this didn't happen. But it's a bunch of people were like, that's eco-terrorism. <laughs> Not yeah. all of them are supposed to. <laughs> like, this is, this is really going to fuck up our local ecosystem. Yeah, it's different if you're dealing with, like, pandas or, like, endangered tortoises or something. Mm -hmm. Like, you want those to survive or, like, rhinos. But it's like, yeah. with turtles, I'm not caught up on turtle lore. Maybe they are yeah. endangered. We are a pest. <laughs> so right. maybe all the turtles are fucked. I've, I've been using plastic straws. Yep. Or paper straws, not plastic straws. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot which was the good one. <laughs> I've, I've been, been using plastic straws. I've been killing just, the turtles. I've been I'm doing done with the turtles, dude. What have they done for me? People saving them on TikTok, someone's got to balance out the ecosystem. Mm -hmm. I'm going <laughs> to Big McD's and I'm getting a straw. That is a good point. Maybe they are, maybe sea turtles are endangered. That actually sounds like a thing, sea turtles. Sea I turtles think, sound like they would be. I think you would tortoises. be endangered, sea turtles. <laughs> I think tortoises uh, 
some tortoises are ex are extinct and endangered, but I don't think turtles are. Uh, but there's a lot okay. of different types of turtles. So this makes sense now, and I retract my statements. Uh, nearly all species of sea turtles are endangered. Never so that mind. does make sense. So never mind. But if it were any kind of thing, I'd be like, I don't think that it... Yeah, let's, because that's let's build a high horse and get on it real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna. Because <laughs> in the TikTok, they just looked like normal people. And if you took two people and put them in front of me, I wouldn't be able to tell you which one was a scientist and which wasn't, okay? What do you but want they a scientist to look like? Do you want them to be on they... the beach in their lab coat? Yeah, they didn't look like scientists, man. But like, oh man, serial killers look just like us. That's kind of fucked. <laughs> <laughs> scientists look just like me. How am I supposed to tell? I just saw a meme today. God, the brain rot is fucked. It was a, <laughs> it was a Photoshop picture of John Wayne Gacy, the famous clown serial killer wearing mm -hmm. an Under Armour shirt. Oh, God. <laughs> the caption was just, Under Armour helps me kill. <laughs> <laughs> it's so stupid. But anyway, the people looked, looked, they didn't look like they knew nothing about turtles. They, <laughs> they were just like, like, go, scientists. turtles, go. E equals MC squared. It I'm a scientist. It seemed too casual. It seemed too casual. I don't know. Science is casual sometimes. Not all science is particle accelerators and I fucking guess. space probes. I guess. Some people are doctors and they can't even help you when you're choking. They're mm, just like. That's true. I have a doctorate, but if you want to know about paintings, <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> Is there a doctor on the plane? Yes. It's like, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, you want like a medical doctor? No. No, I have a PhD. Nah. <laughs> Is there a doctor on the plane? Yes. Please, we need your help. I Okay, I'm a dentist. <laughs> <Yeah>. Got him. <laughs> I can uh, tell you what rocks are different from one another. Man, I felt so bad. I was on a plane recently, and a someone uh not someone the like flight attendant stewardess person who uh, got yeah the they look calm. just like us i didn't know if she was a flight attendant <laughs> i had no idea <laughs> but they got on the intercom and they were like hey if there's a doctor aboard please make yourself known we need a doctor and then all uh, oh, the heads were turning i don't know Turn what to peanut on. boy <laughs> what did you yeah. do <laughs> are you huffing peanuts but there was an older woman in the back, and I felt bad because everyone was looking at her. And so I said, you know what? I'm going to be different. I'm not going to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's like someone it's taking a hands. knee during the anthem or something. <laughs> it's, like, it's like a Time magazine picture where there's a woman dying on the ground. Everyone's crowded around like a Renaissance painting, staring. And then it's just you with your fist in the, in the air back to everybody. <laughs> being like, don't call like, me a hero, guys. <laughs> guys, listen. It's out of my hands. What can I do about it? All right? I'm Nothing. part of the solution, not, not part of the problem. I'm not going to pay attention. Oh, anyway. she died? That's all your fault. I didn't look. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, these people didn't look like scientists. They just looked like normal beachgoers ushering the turtles into the ocean. And I don't think that normies should interfere with Mother Nature. It's like that, um, isn't there a video where some girl... I can't remember if it's a turtle or a tortoise, but she picks one up and like throws it into the river and is like, saving the turtles. And then everyone's like, that turtle fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't put him in there. He's, it was something about like fresh water versus seawater or something. I can't remember uh -huh. the specifics, but they're like, that definitely killed the turtle. <laughs> I saw something like that recently as well, where it was like, it's these two guys um, on YouTube shorts. Wow. Fucking idiots. Uh, it it's uh, I hate YouTube short. We can go into a whole thing about YouTube shorts, but anyway, uh, it's like any comment they'll pick a comment and be like, this person will say, okay, do this thing, and they'll be like, all right, bet, and then they do it. Oh uh, right. Uh, and it was save a lobster from a restaurant and release it back into the ocean. But they were clearly in California, and lobsters are East Coast, and so everyone was like, "Wait, wait, wrong, wrong ocean! <laughs> That's <laughs> going to die." It's like, well, you didn't fucking specify in the comment. You should have been more Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's a really Come good on. joke. If I don't get enough credit for that joke, I'm gonna kill someone. <laughs> he should get an award. That was quick. I'm proud of that one. Yeah, you were quick on your feet with that.
Come on. Yeah. Brain leak. All I want to do. All I want to do is watch British Love Island. That's all I want, Sean, but me being in the US of A, I can't get it on my Netflix. What's even the point? What if I told you there was a service you could do that within a few clicks you could be across the pond and your accent could change and you could be watching a little TV show, innit? I could be watching a little TV that's only available in the UK, but I'm still over in Los Angeles. Yeah, you can watch it on the TV, and then when you click the button, it will soon, suddenly turn into a telly. Oh, no, that sounds incredible. How <laughs> do I wonder I in the go to find it? Well, it's a little thing called NordVPN. <laughs> du, 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 NordVPN? Yeah, not only do they save you from not being able to watch the things you know, there's a lot of streaming services out there these days and they all have their own things, so you want to be able to watch all of them, you can do it with a VPN service. You can watch sporting events, TV shows, films that aren't available in your we region. <laughs> They're not available <laughs> in your region! <laughs> They're available somewhere! They're literally not available in my region, <laughs> but NordVPN, it makes it available and they help me t uh, stay safe from criminals trying to get my information. <laughs> he literally doing a gritty across the water. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally doing a gritty on public Wi-Fi. <laughs> oh, anywhere in the world. <laughs> <laughs> also with NordVPN's threat protection feature, you're also protected from viruses, malicious malware, phishing sites, I know fishing sounds cool, you catch a trout or something, but no. Try to get your information. Mm. Don't let him pick your pocket! Listen, to get the best discount off your NordVPN plan, literally just go to nordvpn.com slash brain. A link will also give you four extra months, literally for free, on a two-year plan. And there's <laughs> literally no risk with Nord's 30-day back money guarantee to help... And your help support a podcast, literally. <laughs> so in case you didn't understand baby speak, <laughs> that's nordvpn.com slash brain. Try it risk-free now with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Say something else funny. Don't let the criminals get your information. Get it. Oh, help. NordVPN, do it now or I'll kill you. <laughs> brain leak. Uh, that's oh, oh, I did see a TikTok. This is all we're going to talk about now. It's like I saw He's a video one time, <laughs> but somebody said like facts that are going to like mess with your head. And somebody said any spider that you found in your house and like saved and put back outside almost a hundred percent died. It's like almost every yeah. spider that's been released back outside is probably dead, like immediately. <laughs> like they can't well, acclimatize that quick. Here's the question about specifically with spiders, though. Mm. Is if you're taking a spider, and uh, this is not for everyone, so chill out. Don't come up and be like, oh, I, I wouldn't do that. Shut up. He, dude, Pino's okay. coming for you. They're coming for me. If you're taking a spider out of your house, it's probably because you're just like, well, I don't want to, I don't want to be the one to kill it. You know? Mm. It's out of your hands at that point, but you don't really want it in your house anymore. Yeah. You know? What you're saying is that people who bring to, spiders yeah. outside are moral aggrandizing. They're just sitting on their fucking laurels being like, that, it's you on the plane with your back turned to the old lady again. It's like, it is. I did it. You put the spider outside, you walk away, just fist pumped in the air, being like, <laughs> saved a life today. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? I lost a friend. <laughs> it's like, what did you do? Just saved a life. Where did I go wrong? <laughs> what did you do? Nothing. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah. Well, I do feel. All the spiders are dead. I used to be so good with spiders when I was a kid. I used to, like, be able to pick them up in my hand and, like, scare my sister with them. I would never kill them. I mean, sometimes I killed them when I was a kid. I don't kill them anymore, but when Man. you're a kid, you don't really care. But I killed so many bugs when I was a kid in horrific ways. I Can would pull sit legs outside. Off things? No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't say that what I did is much better. Oh no! Did you sit well, on an anthill with a magnifying glass? 
Yeah, all the time I would do that. That's literally what I was about to say. I would sit outside all the time with my friend, and we would just go outside and just find things to burn <laughs> with a magnifying glass. I feel and like a that's times, a very normal like, kid thing to do. Yeah, it's a very like it's a very boy thing to do. I yeah, feel like. it's just I've like, never we're just gonna go burn ants. I've never burned ants with a magnifying glass, but it's always in like movies or TV shows or something of kids doing that. But mm -hmm. I have burned shit with a magnifying glass. Just being sitting outside for like four hours, being like, yeah. fuck yeah, look at that paper burn. And like, I... oh, on the wood, yeah. How long is it going to take? And then you put your hand under it and it's like, ah! <laughs> it's like, what did I think I... would happen? I'm going to say this again. Saw TikTok the other day. All right? <laughs> it's basically a guy with a crazy magnifying glass, if you think about it. It's just Oh, the death ray guy! Has. Yeah, and he like cuts rocks in half and stuff. Yeah, and he's so like That's crazy. So I got a rock to cut with my death ray, and it's like, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Am I supposed to know you and your death ray? You just said that so casually. I would be afraid to have a death ray because I would be afraid of it just existing at all and being like, what if the sun hits it and I'm not paying attention and it burns my whole house down? Yeah. If it can cut that rock in half. What if it can it just gonna... leave it out? Just eventually it'll bore that. a hole to China outside your house. <sighs> Which isn't it That's true. weird that it doesn't really matter where you were growing up. I think maybe people from where I'm from got it from TV, but they would always say, yeah. like, keep digging and you'll get to China. And I'm like, I don't think Ireland's on the opposite side of China. What's on the opposite side? I wish I had a globe. What's on the opposite side of Ireland? Probably just ocean. Probably water. <laughs> yeah. Keep digging and you'll drown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, really? <laughs> Sick! <laughs> Digs harder. Like, keep digging and you'll get to China. Like, that's gonna stop you from digging. Yeah, that is exactly that what you tell me. a kid to keep digging. Oh, keep making that face and your face will stick that way. Fucking sick! Mm hmm I am so going to go to sleep with that face. I hope I, I wake up fucked up. <laughs> I loved digging a hole when I was a kid. Just go a kid? Dude, you know hole. you like digging a hole now. Yeah, that's true. There's nothing quite like digging a hole. It's like, what are you digging a hole for? Nothing. I don't know. Just, just a digging hole a hole. A hole is useful for something. What is, what is your favorite um, house activity? This this comes from the hole because uh, yesterday, or maybe it was the day before, I can't remember, there was a bunch of mud over a drain. So I mm. took a hose and I just started spraying the mud away. Oh. And then but but because there was there was more dirt there, it just the mud kept coming. And but I would just sit there. I sat there for like fifteen minutes just, just spraying the fucking dirt. <laughs> just to yeah. wash it watch it wash away. And it was so nice. That is great. I had a moment recently, which this year I'm trying to live in the moment more and be more present, which I feel like everybody says all the time. But I was like, I was sitting down at the table one time and I was like, I sh I'm going to go paint again. And I was watching The Sopranos and I was like, you know what? I want to like take a moment for myself. I feel like that's all I've been doing lately is staring at a screen and distracting myself. And I was like, it's the sunset right now. And I just was in the kitchen at the door. And I had like, like army stance with my arms folded behind my back. And I was just staring <laughs> at like birds going to roost. It was like seagulls going home, I guess. I don't know where the <laughs> fuck they go. And I was just like, wow, there's like four of them together. And I was just staring at them. And then like a group of starlings or something would go over together. And I'm like, whoa, cool. And I did that for like 20 minutes. That it's was so awesome. nice to just sit there and look. I have a photo of my dad the last time that I was home of him just staring, arms folded, just staring into his yard. <laughs> I was like, wow, that is the dad pose. <laughs> yeah, it's like whenever people are like, oh, my dad used to just stand outside and stare at stuff. I was like, I get it. I get it now. We all become our parents. I understand. I I'm going to start understand. punching holes in walls and getting really angry. Fulfill the circle. <laughs> He sent me a, a photo, uh, because he's moving, uh, out to the west, ah, out here, but he sent me uh, a photo of, he took down the wall in my old office. Whoa, in Berlin? In Dude, your dad was a hero. Yeah, he took down the wall, baby. He took down that wall. <laughs> it was just him and, and the sledgehammer. It was just, 
This is him destroying what he made. Wait, if he's moving, why is he getting rid of the wall? Uh, because, so in my dad's house, the basement is where I used to make videos, and the basement runs the length of the house, so it's just a really long, open space. So for my 17th birthday, wow, damn, 10 years ago we built that wall. Uh, for my 17th birthday, he was like, so I'm gonna build you a wall. And so he made me my own yeah. little office by building a wall, and then we insulated everything for the sound and stuff. And your dad just went so, around petitioning with a sign saying, build the wall, mm -hmm. being like, I need materials. <laughs> <laughs> Please, does anyone have two by fours? I need yeah, them. and everyone was like, what do you mean build a wall? Are you some sort of racist? And your dad's like, what? It's for my son's YouTube channel. No, that's unrelated. The racism <laughs> is unrelated to the wall, okay? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, he, uh, <laughs> Why are you some kind of racist? Yes, but completely different story. <laughs> I do my racism in my own time. <laughs> in the privacy of my own home. Yeah, racism should stay in the house. <laughs> but yeah, he took down the wall. No more, no more memories in there. Damn. All Did he have to take it down because that was the original plan for the house? To take down the wall? Like that you got the house without a wall, so that when he built it, he has to take it down to, like, put it back to its original blueprint. Oh! Uh, I mean, he has to put it back to its original thing, I guess, but it was like, it was like a, it wasn't like a real looking wall. In the sense of, like, it wasn't finished. I just still don't understand why the wall is coming down. Like, if it's that easy so, to take it down, can't the people buying the new house be like, oh, maybe we'll keep that room, or maybe we'll get rid of the wall? Well, because it's it's not a real... It's not a real wall, really. So it was basically just a f two by 4 frame that he built, and then we put insulation in it to create a faux room. But there's no, like... Drywall on top of that and no paint or anything, so it just looks let, like the. Let me the, let me uh, ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You're sitting yeah. in this space and you look ahead of you. Can you see the rest of the basement? With the wall or without the wall? <laughs> with the wall. With the wall. Can I see the rest of the basement? Yeah, like you look around you. Can you see the rest of the basement? Are you enclosed in a space? I'm a, I'm enclosed in a space. Is there a door to get out of it? Uh huh. That's yeah, a fucking wall, a baby. Door. That's a wall. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not it's not finished, you know? I look, sir. We had a wall outside my house. It's just bricks and concrete put together. Are you are you on your phone right now? Well, you I was gonna look it. up a photo of my wall. <laughs> I was gonna find I, the wall. I'm trying to give you credit for your wall. I'm not trying to talk down your dad. Okay. I well, think it's a it wall. I think you're like, I had an imaginary friend when I grew up, and we built an imaginary wall together. It's not like you pictured a wall. It was <laughs> when, real. It was a real wall. It was a real wall. Yeah. Just because it yeah. wasn't finished. I guess but so. it, it, by that standard, it's like, is any house in America a finished wall by our standards? There's no bricks well, in I, it. That's I not think a wall. That the people that own, because my dad doesn't own the house, he was renting the house, so I think that the people that own the house would, it would just be a chore for them, and they'd be like, mm. why is there this thing here? And then they'd have to deal with it. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, no more do you wall. have a picture of your wall? I could find a picture of the wall. You want me okay. to find a picture of my wall? Right. I'm going to look up have... your uh, tweet poll. Oh, yes. And see what people are answering. Oh, it's been up for... I don't know how long. It just has 23 hours left. But it's been up for like a good half hour. And what it's are people six, saying? 68% green, 31.8% yellow. Okay. So it okay. seems like it's not even close, so I'm assuming that green's going to keep the lead. And people are saying, can't wait to see green, the team green lose. Somebody else said white and gold. <laughs> I made that joke. <laughs> Somebody says, anyone who says yellow is getting blocked. They're like fluorescent green, so they look yellow. Mm, that sounds like a fence sitter to me. I have found a photo of my wall. Show the class. Okay. All right. Or you're going to have to put here, it in the... Here is... Wait, send it in the Discord chat. Oh, yeah. Don't show your phone to the camera. <laughs> That's what it looks like. That's a wall. I that's mean, a and that's yeah. a damn good wall. It's a good wall, yeah, but it's just bare, 
you know? And so that's why I think... It's got wooden trusses. It's got insulation. All it's missing is mm-hmm. drywall. Drywall and, and, and a little a little slab of paint. Um, you don't even need on paint. Because on the other side of that, I just put my acoustic foam on all of the, in, all of the insulation. Let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Great Wall of China. Wall or not? Ha. <sighs> huh. See, this is a very rhetorical question, by the way. I think, no, 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 but it has an answer. I, I don't know if I'd call it a wall. It's a, just kind of a big. When does when does a fence become a wall? At what height? Because if you think about it, if you shrunk the Great Wall of China down to you know six feet, that's a fence. I would say there's no such thing as a fence made out of stone. <laughs> hmm. So, hmm. in those terms, maybe That's... the wall in your basement was actually a fence. That's interesting thought, actually. Yeah. There's to... no such... Hmm. If you have wall around your house, that's a wall. Or brick around your house, that's a wall. But if you have yeah. wood, chain link... What if your house is made out of wood? That's what I'm getting at. Our houses over here are made out of brick, but all of you guys' houses, well, not all of them, but a vast majority of the houses over there mm-hmm. are made out of wood. And they're so, just frames of drywall and stuff and fronts. So technically, you guys just live in like a pen, like pigs, <laughs> well, <laughs> like chickens. Hold on. Man who grew up in a log cabin. <laughs> Fair. Way I more. didn't grow up in a log cabin. I lived there for four years. I grew oh, up okay. in a house, okay. but I also didn't have brick walls. That was also like a really cheap house that had like prefabricated walls in it. I didn't realize until I was older that people used to make fun of my family for living in it. <laughs> but oh, it was like, really? an, it was like an American house where it's like a timber frame with like drywall and stuff all around it. But then my friends had like really warm brick houses, and I'm like, why are we poor? <laughs> <laughs> what would you call the log cabin then? It's not a playpen. Penitentiary. <laughs> <laughs> Did it have a thatch uh, roof? No, it had a galvanized roof. Oh, I don't but it was just, the means. whole thing was made out of wood. Mm-hmm. So it, it was like sheet metal thing? on the roof. Like the wavy galvanized Ooh. metal. Oh, man, did it sound cool when it rained? No, it was awful. It was terrifying. Really? We were so scared that the wind, because we live next to a bog, so the wind had free rain to like, build up speed and come across the ground mm-hmm. uninterrupted. So it hit the cabins, and then m- me and my dad were so afraid that the roof was just going to lift off the cabin. And I was like sitting in bed one night at like 2 a.m., and the wind woke me up, and I was like, this is it. I'm going to sit here, and the roof is going to come off. All my equipment is going to be ruined, and I'm going to die. I'm going to fly away like like Alice in Wonderland. Does Does your family still live there? No. Uh, my should- dad's dead. <laughs> well, I know that, <laughs> but I didn't know if anybody else still lived there. Um, Who no, do you they think moved. lives there now. I actually had a dream last night that somebody was at that location doing like a, like you know those ghost adventurer people. Who go to places uh-huh. and it's like, <laughs> this is where inmates were killed. This is where we're going to study. I had a dream the that they were there, Jack but the cabins the were gone. It was just like an outline of where the cabins were. And it was like oh. tarmac or asphalt, whatever you want to call it. Like an outline of it. They would be like, this is where Jack Septic I lived. But he doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> 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 like stinger sound. You should, you should buy back those houses no, and make a little no, museum. No. No, 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 no. Make a Those things museum. got moldy real quick. They have a lot oh. of upkeep. Do you and think like the as floorboards. fast as bread in the fridge? <laughs> mm. <laughs> they should have been kept in the fridge. Actually, they were. It was cold as fuck over there. But I, um, where the showers were, I guess they weren't installed properly, so they would like build mold under the floorboards, and the whole place is wood, so it just spreads yeah, yeah. really easily, and then you have to like cut it out and take it out and put new floorboards in all the time. It's terrible. All the time? Terrible. How how all the time is all the time? Like every few years. That's pretty frequent, though. Yeah, it's not supposed to happen. I don't think they were built very well. Hmm. It was awful existence. I don't want to go... When you are sleeping at nighttime and the ice is halfway up the wall in winter, and you're kind of like just sitting there in a blanket, and you're like, I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like inside you can see it? 
Yeah, it was before I got like the stove like heater, like the wood stove. Yeah. So we, <laughs> I had no heater in my house. We would have to get like a portable heater, like a radiator, but it costs way too uh -huh. much to run because heating elements just cost a lot on electricity. And then yeah. we had a gas one, but I had to pay for the gas myself. Uh -huh. So we couldn't really afford that much either. So I had to like turn it on when necessary. But before I got the wood stove heater, we like the ice on the wall would just come in and I would see it on the wall. So it's like living in an ice box. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Oh. That's why I'm like, <sighs> man, YouTube's pretty cool. <laughs> Man, it it really things things are all right. Uh, yeah, you kind of forget what it's like to live in a log cabin, freezing to death every day. Mm -hmm. It's probably why my asthma is still so shit because it didn't help. I wonder. Did, wait, did you have asthma as a kid? You mm -hmm. did, right? Yeah. And then it went away, and then it came back. Yeah. Just like yeah, little... so people's dads. <laughs> went away my asthma went out to get milk. Back. Finally came back when I made some money. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, my favorite son. Remember when we used to play? <laughs> and it was horrible. I had asthma as a kid, and I had to take asthma meds. I used to have to take my little puffer. Did you have to take, like, an, an inhaler that you squeeze, and it puffs it out for you? Mm-hmm. Because you can also get, like, yeah. dry powder ones, which you, like, open, and then you click, and it puts powder from a capsule in, and then you have to suck. And I hated oh, those. I did... I did that at one, the circular ones. Yeah. That look like hubba bubba bubble tape. Yeah, they do. <laughs> wow, that's yeah. what it reminds me of. It's like a little clamshell sort of weird thing. Yeah. I did have that at one point, yeah. But I I also had the little, you just shake it and you just... Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm on now. Yeah. I'm on two of yeah. those bad boys. People, people now, these young kids, they're like, man, it's so cool to vape. It's so cool to jewel. Ever have a puffer, dude? Hm, <laughs> you call it a on. puffer? Yeah, I called it a puffer when I was uh, a kid. That's not very metal. I, I know I know it's an inhaler, but it's just like, can I, excuse me, I need my puffer. I, I baby die. want uppies. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a little nickname for your inhaler? Uh, I, I call the them my, my, so si government my, name. my side piece. <laughs> yeah, keep that thing yeah. on you. Gator needs his gat. <laughs> I I wish that they made them a little bit in a different form because they're kind of clunky and weird. Not good to have in your pocket. Eh, they're pretty small. <gasps> How have they not vapes are so small and mm. little they're little thin guys. How have they not made inhaler versions of that? Uh cuz I think there's not enough doses in it. <sighs> so <laughs> <laughs> hey. Plus it's like it's a powder, right? That the thing just disperses. Vape is like yeah, a yeah, coil so. that vaporizes it. That's true. So it goes from Damn liquid to right. steam. Oh, wouldn't vapor. Wouldn't it be cool if you could have your little inhaler and just like a little, just a little guy? This is a USB dongle, but it's about the same size. As That's like a jewel. Yeah, and you just have a little. <laughs> And you go, mm, yeah. mm, I love the taste of breathing. Ooh, bubblegum inhaler. Why isn't it flavored? <laughs> Why isn't it flavored? <sighs> it should at least smell like something. I hate, because I have to take the steroid inhaler. So when I take it, it's like, make sure to rinse your mouth out, by the way, because you can get, like, thrush, or like, I don't know what you guys thrush? would call it. It's like it's a, thrush. it's like a rash, kind of like, redness rash in your throat. Oh. What what is thrush in America? This is going to be a thing where it's like, oh, that's mono or something. I, I have no idea. Have you ever had mono? I don't even know what it is. Mono, I don't know necessarily what it is. I got it once when I was like 20. And um, you mostly get it from making out with people. Yeah. Um, and I was just really, really, really tired for like a month and a half. I was constantly just exhausted. Um. Maybe it was early onset depression. <laughs> that could also <laughs> that could also be the thing. Apparently, thrush. Its real name is candidiasis. <laughs> candidiasis. <laughs> it's a, it's like a yeast thing. Hmm. So it's like <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
There's like different versions of it. It's like a bacterial fungal growth kind of thing. So it's like you can get like vaginal thrush. You can get like toe fungus. Hmm. So it's like a thing that if you puff it and some of that's still in your mouth, you can develop sores. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. But I also have the I also have the spacer for it. Which is like the, the fucking gas mask that goes over your Ooh. face and has a big long tube oh. in it. And then it goes in and then you suck and it has a little harmonica in it that if you suck too fast it goes <laughs> To be you like, no, 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 too quick. I was born in the darkness. <laughs> I, I do that I'm... all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I merely adapted the breathing. <laughs> you were born with it. <laughs> oh boy! Oh it boy. just means I can't run very well. Uh, running sucks anyway. Who needs it? Who needs it? It's true. No Sean, I have a question for you. Hit me. Have you seen, uh, <laughs> don't, the don't thing hit that me. is, <laughs> please don't hit me. Have you seen the thing that's come out recently? Sora? The mm. AI thing? The AI video? Yes. Yeah, it's AI. scary. It's so, so scary. So for those of you listening, if you haven't heard, uh, What's the company called? OpenAI? Yeah. I think is the Sam name Altman's of the company. company. They, uh, they made Dolly and... ChatGPT. Sequences. Sequences. Sequels. Uh, ChatGPT. Anything else? I don't know. AI Probably. things. It's, it's used in everything. Um, I think they, uh, Microsoft's AI stuff uses OpenAI for it. I wonder who owns OpenAI, if it has a parent company. Um... I think it's Sam but, Altman and his partner. Sam Altman. Who is Sam Altman? AI guy. AI man. Hmm. Um, but they just released, or I guess announced, because it's not available for people to use yet. Hmm. It's called Sora, which is AI video, where much like Dolly, where you want an image <clears throat> of something, and you say, okay, I give, show me a, kitchen with a glass of water on the counter and make the yeah. cabinets blue and blah 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 blah. do the same thing but with video and the videos that it's spitting out which here's the thing i don't know how believable it is because they're showing like best case scenario of what the ai can do yeah it's like when so dolly like, came out and everything or mid journey it's like mm -hmm. yeah it can do that but i've used mid journey myself and it's like it's really hard to get it to make anything decent yeah and it so all ends up we'll looking the same We'll see what it's actually like when it's released, but from what they've showed, it's horrifying. Um, yeah, people keep bringing up the Will Smith saying, eating spaghetti thing. Yeah. <laughs> which you can, sh in the edit, you can show it on screen here. Sorry, listeners. But they showed Will Smith eating spaghetti, and then they were like, this is what it looks like a year later. And it's like that beautiful mm -hmm. shot of like Tokyo or something, and like the lady walking across the street. And it's like everything in the image is 100% AI, and it's. You can tell, like, if you really look, that one of, like, the femme fatale Asian lady, like, walking across the screen, yeah. um, which looks like like a downtown Asian country, but she's, like, walking across, and there's somebody in the background with big puffy pants, and if you look at the pants, the way it interacts with itself, you can kind of tell something's off, Yeah. but it's, it's really hard to notice, and the fact that that's a year on from what last year's was is pretty scary. It's very scary. I um, I made a video talking about my my thoughts, and I like went in depth on it. Um, but I'm very concerned about specifically people who work in commercials because mm. there were so many. I don't know if you went on their website and looked at all the different um, like examples that they had, but a lot of the a lot of the videos that the AI has spit out looks very commercial. Uh, esque, like it looks very clean and very yeah. It's like car bright. commercials or beer commercials or something like that. Yeah, and so I'm like, man, that's really scary for people that work in commercials because that's a lot of people's entire livelihoods is like, okay, I shoot on commercials or I act basically solely in commercials. Blah 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 blah. And it's yeah, like, commercials okay, well, are like commercials are like the in between work people do from like big budget shoots if they can get work on yeah. that some people just work solely in commercials but some people are like i'm in between movies right now so i'm like doing commercial work i'm dping yeah. for that or something so yeah that's scary. it's so scary because it's just like wow you could eliminate literally every 
job uh, yeah. with commercial stuff if you wanted to, because it also doesn't need to look perfect. Um, yeah, hopefully, so just... what I'm hoping with all of this, because when it comes to us, people are always like, are you scared of AI like taking your job? And I'm like, for me, no, because I feel like mm-hmm. there's so much spontaneity and brain rot to do what I do that you yeah. can't replicate that perfectly, I don't think. Mm-hmm. Um but I'm hoping that if AI stuff becomes so prominent that people really get tired of seeing it, like dystopian shit, where it's like all the AI stuff, like you can really tell when it's AI generated, yeah. even when it's really good and it emulates stuff of the past. I hope that that springboards people into doing commercials differently. That I, I'm always hoping that if AI gets so good, it starts replicating what we do now, people get creative enough to change what they do to superseded but i think the ease of use and the monetary savings kind of fuck everyone over yeah you can make a whole commercial for your thing at the cost of a subscription to a thing or maybe there's there should be you can't copyright ai but there should be some sort of like fee like if you use a photo for a thumbnail or stock photo for like publication you have to pay an extra amount. Yeah, there there was an interesting video that I saw. It was a clip from a stream, Pirate Software. Um, oh. He was talking about AI and his thoughts on AI. And he's like, I'm fine with AI being used in certain cases where the AI... And I don't, I don't actually know like how you would track this, but it's like... AI is gathering um, is is gathering things from different real art from real people and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And so it's like, okay, there are some cases that have happened where the original artist uh, they like pay a license because um, it's like referencing their art or whatever. Mm-hmm. So as long as the original artist is getting compensated in some way, then it's like, okay, AI is fine in that sense because an actual person is being paid for it. But yeah, there's I don't a lot of... I think that that's the case, like, any time, normally. It's a slippery slope still, but now it's like stable diffusion is just stealing art without anybody seeing mm-hmm. any... No credit, no money, no anything. Yeah. So the, if people were able to be compensated for that, then fair. It's up to them then to consent to it or not. I still don't like the, AI. I still think it's fucked. But I do think yeah. there's good applications for it in terms of... Actually, a good point to bring up from something we said last time, but um, when it comes to like like, like blind assistance or reading assistance mm-hmm. or any, any people who have disabilities that are hard to do, like AI is such a valuable asset for people with disabilities, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what people said last time in the comments that apparently the neural link was intentionally made for like people with disabilities. Which I didn't know. I thought it was just like, oh, we're trying to do like super science stuff and we're trying to make humans smart. And, Mm. um, but yeah, apparently it was supposed to help people who can't like type and things like that to help them do stuff. So in certain scenarios, it does work, but we all know that that's not going to be the only case for it. I think that in the case for AI in the creative realm, I think that I only agree with its use as uh, a tool in an assistant kind of way where like I use the I use it on Photoshop all the time of instead of like going in and manually using like the clone tool to paint out stuff I'll just select it and do the generate fill or whatever and then it'll get rid of stuff so I think yeah if if you like using it as an assistant the spot heal over text Mm -hmm. is like you can tell I use that but if you highlight it and then like remove text Mm -hmm. it's like perfect and then it like generates yeah. a tree or something behind it, and it's like, whoa, that looks really good. Mm-hmm. I think it's it's bad when it's creating whole things by itself, but if you're using it as a way to just assist you making something, then it's it's fine. Let's face um, it, we're the problem, humans. Mm-hmm. The AI yeah. just is. But it's everybody out there being like, I made this thing, now you have to buy it from me. And then it's like, well, you didn't make it. <laughs> Yeah. So it's just it's just opportunistic people using it horribly. 
I mean, it's you could talk about it all day and you'd never be right. It's changing so much all the time anyway, so... Mm-hmm. Either way, I don't like AI. Either like way, for we're that. all fucked. <laughs> I like it for that kind of like Photoshop stuff because I'm not like stepping on anyone's toes and it makes mm-hmm. a job better. And like yeah. it removes stuff better and you can stick something in the picture better, but... Who knows, maybe that is stealing from something. But doesn't Photoshop have like a stock library that they're pulling from? Uh, I think so. Because if I do a picture and I'm like, add grass, add a building, add a person. Like, where's it getting that stuff? Uh, that's a good question. I actually don't know. I would imagine maybe it is pulling from Adobe stock. I would hope so, because I would hate to think that it's just stealing someone's Mm -hmm. material. Um, that's the other thing too, when you just said like, put grass here and stuff like that, uh, the Sora video AI for stock footage is going to be fucked. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's going to be real bad when it's like, okay, we just need a shot to go in here as an establishing shot. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just something to yeah. fill the space kind of. It's like, oh no, that's it's like, real bad. You'll always have like the Christopher Nolans and the Denis Villeneuve's who like really want to craft their material. But for like cheaper movies who are like, we were out on location. Well, it's going to get really crazy when you can start feeding it bits of your movie. Yeah. So let's say you go out and you're filming something in the Alps and then you're like, oh, we got all these shots. Shit, we need to do pickups. We can't afford to go back out in location again because that was that took everything to do. And then it's like, show a drone flying over the Alps. And then if they're like, ah, that doesn't really match ours. I wonder then if you can feed it all of the footage you've taken yourself in your style. And then it's like, <laughs> oh, now I, now I can replicate your style. So here. That's, that's the other thing too is like with Dolly and with Mid Journey and I'm sure with Sora as well. Uh, you can just say to Mid Journey like I want X Y Z thing done in the style of Van Gogh or Picasso, like this specific artist. Yeah. that's the thing that's really scary as well. And I don't well, there's um, like- who's the guy? I forget his YouTube channel, but you've probably seen him where he's like. It's like he acts out scenes, but then everything is like cartoonized over him and it's like rotoscoped. And he does like the Elden Ring shit and he's like dressed up in armor, but it's all like cartoony looking. Yeah. I can't remember his name off the top of my head, but yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, he said that he uses AI for his stuff, but he's using the AI to draw from his art style. So Mm -hmm. he feeds his stuff to AI and then it helps. I Please tell me if I'm wrong. But I think when he was talking about it, he's like, creating whole things out of nothing with AI is bad. But if I can be like, here's the style, here's the start frame, I'm getting to here, fill in the rest of the scene with my art, then mm-hmm. it like really speeds up his process. And he's not yeah. treading on anyone's toes. It helps him make the stuff he wants to make just way quicker. Saves mm-hmm. him a lot of man hours. And he's not like, it's not taking somebody else's art and putting it over his and he's pretending yeah. that he made it. So I guess in those scenarios it's good. Not a whole thing. Yeah. It's very scary. If you use AI not a tool, then you're the tool. <laughs> yeah, man. What's oh, that yeah. thing? It's like when people are the product, then you're sheep. <laughs> I can't remember the quote. What? <laughs> It's like when Apple are like when making people a people are the product, then you're sheep. <laughs> I don't know what it is. What's the quote? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> when people are the product, then you're sheep. <laughs> it's not that, but it's like, ah, oh God, it's something got to do with that. Oh, if you're not the- paying for the product, you are the product, which inherently oh. makes you like sheep who are gullible and will just do anything the company wants kind of scenario. So I took that whole thing and mashed it down to one nonsensical <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Something like that. I can't remember. People in the product and there's a sheep there. and You know. If you like sheep it out. and you buy products, hey, live your life, man. If you like sheep, you're part of the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you, oh. like, if you like fucking a sheep, then... Just go out and buy some products, then. Oh. Like, uh, I, I think he got that wrong. No, nope, pretty sure that's the quote. I love I sheep. 
I love sheep. It's... Nah, we shouldn't get into that. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I don't know. Just the thought of people fucking animals. <laughs> yeah, let's not talk about that. It's so awful. <laughs> of course it is. There's a reason it's illegal. <laughs> oh, God. What have we done? We didn't do terrible. anything. You and me personally. That's right. I can You're honestly correct. say I've never looked at an animal and wanted to fuck it. Neither have I. Good. Neither have I. Now just get this close. It's, but that's in an envelope. Okay. Send it into we'll the fire. It it's, no, don't send it anywhere. Oh. <laughs> it's done. It's gone in the Guys, fire. We can don't move send past it. it. Anyway. We're moving past this, okay? <sighs> just don't say whatever pops into your head. It's really hard to do that. I know. It's easier said than done. Yeah, Way most things are easier said than done. <laughs> Yeah, I don't what, know. What's easier done than said? What's easier done than said? Oh, uh, I got one. Hmm? Bang! <laughs> that was onomatopoeia. And that was easier said <laughs> than done. <laughs> or that was easier done than said. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> there you go. That's one for the red history books. That's one for the history books, everybody. Thank hey, you I, so much. And Hope if you, like you want to uh, specifically... And it, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> God damn. I was oh. thinking about this yesterday because I was listening to uh, a podcast with a celebrity on it. And I was just like, man, if Sean and I ever get celebrity on the on the show, <laughs> what do we even say? There's a, It turns into a completely different podcast being like, yeah, that movie was so cool. Like, Like, how did you do that? And then they give a serious answer and it's like, Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> in, in, and all the in our, are just like, what is this? <laughs> in, in our minds, we're like, oh, we should ask him what his favorite toe is. <laughs> in our think, minds, it's. Do just you think the he likes cheese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's us banging symbols with also us with a gun pointed at our head, being like, don't do it, <laughs> don't do it. It's like the symbols are so close, and it's like. I want to bang them so bad. Don't fucking do it. The monkey with the symbol is a really, really good representation of both of our brains, I think. Yeah. It's incredible. That's all I have going on all the time. Except when I get depressed. Then I'm like, oh, and then everywhere I walk, it sounds like, Wet squelching and trombone. Sean squelches so wetly. <laughs> oh, why are you sad, bud? Mm. I'm not. Not now. Oh, not now? Oh, that's no. good. Oh, that's great. I just that's have good. my moments. You know, I call them my depressies. <laughs> my little depressies. Just the weather's happy. starting to get better here. The days are getting longer. Sadness has oh. left this house. Oh, Hell yeah, baby. My feathers are fluttering through the air. Ah. Oh. Wow, what color of those feathers? Rainbow. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It just matters it that they're you. there. You're flying high, baby. Yeah. Flying high. Why? <laughs> you said you had something before we recorded. You were like, Let's, we can talk about it on the podcast. And then you called yourself oh. old. Yeah. Yesterday I moved and I hurt my back. <laughs> oh. I just, I just moved. <laughs> what kind of movement? Was it a was Twist. it a shearing? <laughs> yeah, it's a twisting movement. Yeah, and twisting is bad I, for the spine. Yeah, I did. I I twisted and I went oh oh. <laughs> so you would say you twist and shout? <laughs> I did. I twisted and I shout, and now it hurts to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> really? You still have it? Yeah, yeah. It still hurts. It's just uh. it's just sore, and I, I you know I just can't <laughs> you know what is like so I funny. To. I told you after 26, it's all downhill. And I was and like, that's when stuff stopped working for me. That's when my back started hurting. <laughs> mm -hmm. And here you and are, one year yeah. in. <laughs> yep. And it's already fucked. Oh, man. I have that. I have like a, uh, it's, it's my C6 uh, L11 uh, vertebra. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I have a thing that if I like bend down this way and I come out of it too quick, I'll get that like sharp spike uh -huh. and I'll go, oh, and then after like five minutes, it's gone. 
<laughs> you know it's starting to go downhill when you when you move and you get a sharp pain and all you can do is just freeze in fear. <laughs> well, it's like, oh, don't don't move it again, huh? And I've gone to like chiropractors, I've gone to doctors, physiotherapists, and they're like, yeah, it's it's a muscle thing, it's not a bone thing. And I was like, it really feels like something's like bulging out and touching a nerve. But they were all like, mm. no, just like work out your back more. And I'm like, oh, I guess I do sit a lot all the time. But it's just that one mm. movement. And it happened on a plane one time. I was sitting in my seat, bent down to get something because it fell. I stood up and I went, ah! <laughs> <laughs> And then Evelyn looked over me. She was like, what's wrong? And I was like, my back. <laughs> I was just sitting like a fucking concave weirdo. And then I was like, okay, it's okay now. <laughs> for 12 hours on the plane <laughs> like oh, this movie's oh. great <laughs> it sucks too when when you it's specifically back stuff when you move weird and you either it's one of two things you're either gonna shout like you just didn't just go ah, or you just go ah. <laughs> it's, like, it's a very like short breath <laughs> it's oh. like the um the christopher lee thing on uh lord of the rings when saruman mm -hmm. gets stabbed and then mm -hmm. in the script it said that he like yells and Christopher Lee was like, have you ever been stabbed, Peter? And he was like, no. He's like, well, you don't shout. It just takes the breath out of you. And that's Did why he was... he get stabbed? Yeah, he was in World War II. Whoa, <laughs> said, I didn't even think about that. I think him and Tolkien were in one of the wars together. He's like the only cast member who's ever met Tolkien. Mm. Um, and he said when you get stabbed, it like sucks the breath out of you. And that's why Saruman does it in the movie and I'm like Damn. yeah well my back twinges as well like, <gasps> or sometimes I sound like a Dark Souls character where I go oh <laughs> <laughs> oh oh, oh. <laughs> me and Evelyn do that sound to each other all the time <laughs> not like that <laughs> but something will happen and we'll be like oh and then it's like oh <laughs> Or my favorite thing to do recently is the cat that goes, oh. oh. <laughs> Have you ever seen that one? <laughs> no, I need to though. Oh. It's like the snoring sound, but just cut into like a, oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Shall I just, just notice? Cat humming. Oh. <laughs> cat humming. <laughs> no, ha meme. Ha meme. What did you just notice? I just noticed. When did this happen? You changed your sign. You put your new sign up. I did. Why I don't did turn it on because I put it up and it was like, oh, cool. Wait, how do I? <gasps> but it, Look at that. Is it oh, flickering? It yeah, but you can probably change the setting on your camera. Change the hertzage. I was changing like shutter speeds because I thought that would help. And then I changed the aperture and that didn't change anything either. And then I was like, what the fuck is the uh, problem? Well, there's there's a thing in the settings where you can change it from 50 to 60 hertz, and that might do the trick. Uh, NTSC um, or PAL. Uh, that won't do anything. Well, that's what think. it was back in the PS2 days, where we were PAL and you guys were NTSC. I'm almost 50 hertz, I'm almost 60 hertz. Bitch. Oh. Wait, I thought we... Oh, no, you're right. I thought that we were PAL for some reason. Yeah, NTSC stands for not the South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> what does it stand for? And because that's like NTSC and PAL, I think is also... Uh, I think it's also frame rate stuff because like mm. you guys do... We do 24 frames per second. You guys do 25. Yeah, we're 25 and, and like, 50. Mm -hmm. NT... S Which is weird that you guys are 24 and 60. Yeah, I don't understand. Shouldn't it be that at 24 all? and 48? <laughs> Wait, do you guys do 30? You guys do 30. Yeah, I mean every, right? everybody does everything now. I guess. But so. I think it's a broadcast thing for TV. Because huh. stuff was broadcast and that, so the TVs had to match it. Pal has 20% higher resolution. Yeah, ah. because we're fucking cool. You got more lines. And it's called so, PAL. You can just say PAL. You don't have to spell out the acronym. So PAL is Phase Alternation by Line. NTSC is National Television System Committee. Shouldn't it be PABL? <laughs> I don't know. They were no, like, because the it's by be is it's lowercase. Uh, 
They were like, Pab. And they're like, I don't like that. What if we call it pal because it's a little guy? It's Wait, just a little buddy. Another one? Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> I mean, Asia there's or somebody C must have had it. Seacam. S E C A M. Seacam. 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 That's cool. It's only used in Russia and I think. Uh, Russia? Texas. <laughs> it's, it's Russia and. Uh, France, uh, it looks like, and certain parts, uh, certain countries in Africa. Whoa. I don't know. That's cool. Wow. Which one did Crazy. Asia use? Uh, Asia uses PAL. Hell yeah, because we're PALs. Well, actually, Asia, it depends, because it looks like Japan uses NTSC, and... I don't know what country that is. I've already lost interest in this conversation. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, Sean, should we wrap it up by doing one last check on what people think about green versus yellow? Yes. Team the green final tallies. Or team yellow. Yeah. What are, what are we at? 67% green, 32% yellow, but there is a lot of discourse in the comments. A lot of people being like, ah, it's kind of one or the other. Yeah, but that was always going to happen. Do people know what neon yellow looks like? Says Rat King. Yeah. Do you know what a tennis ball looks like? I'm starting to think that it's like a Mandela thing where we all grow up with different types of tennis balls and there's no standard. I don't think that's a Mandela yes. effect. Did you grow what up with Nelson the, Mandela? <laughs> what was the, what was the color? It's here somewhere. Six D E D three E four three four. That wasn't the original one, but uh, that's what Google it. it. Now. Google Why? it. Why did that happen? The Mandela effect. Why did, he died in twenty thirteen? I looked this up yesterday. Actually, people thought he died in the eighties. Everyone was like, he died in prison in the eighties, but he didn't die until twenty thirteen. Why did people think that? What was he doing between nineteen eighty and twenty thirteen? Just chilling out. People didn't know where he was. <laughs> Building the Mandela effect. He's like, I'm going to die in 2013. And it's going to really fuck with people's heads. We also got stuck with like a cool word for it. Imagine if it was called the Johnson effect. And it's like, yeah, that doesn't sound cool. No, the Mandela effect is cool. But yeah. is it just cool because, because we know it? Like, do you ever think about your last name and you're like, my last name doesn't sound cool. Like, do you ever think of, of like, if you were to be an actor? Do you yeah. think of like, oh, Sean McLaughlin? Like, that doesn't sound cool. Like, Leonardo DiCaprio or, or. Yeah, but when you Matthew think about it, his name is Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, that's. <laughs> that sounds weird on its own. It's like whenever you ta take them, whenever you don't take their full name, it's like Tom Holland or Tom Hardy's names are. It, they're Tom. Tom. Their name's Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Hanks is just Tom. Like people go and be like, "Hi, Tom." <laughs> That's weird. Except for Zendaya, she's just Zendaya. What is Zendaya's last name? Oh, I knew her last name. I just looked that Whoa. up like last week. She has such a sick middle name. She has a very long name. Yeah, say it. Zendaya is Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman. Coleman, yeah. Damn, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that Zendaya is not a stage name. Th that's so cool to have a name that's so cool that you could just go by that name. Well, I mean, yeah. I was going to say, you could just go by Ethan if you want, but there's a lot of Ethans. There's so many Ethans. We have such generic names, Ethan and Sean. We do. It's like, because I like my, my name, but it's like there's a lot of me. <laughs> Yeah, because like if Zendaya is trending on Twitter, you know it's Zendaya. If Ethan is trending on Twitter, there's a lot of different ones. It's that used to happen all the time. It would be yeah. like Ethan's trending and then it'd be like bits of you, bits of Ethan Klein, bits of Ethan the drummer from Monoskin. <laughs> yep. It's like, uh -huh. and it's not for any of you. <laughs> it's for nope. something else. <laughs> Ethan Hunt from Mission Impossible. <laughs> My namesake, baby. Which is technically uh -huh. you, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's me. It's all me. They really missed out calling him Mike for those movies. Oh, that would have been so good. Mike Hunt. <laughs> that would have been 
it's so good. By God. <laughs> and then they're like, get Mike Hunt on the line. <laughs> Your you know? wife is on line too, sir. <laughs> no. Listen. <laughs> Listen. Someday, Tom Cruise is going to die. And... No. You know... No. He'll get whatever he gets with Scientology or whatever. <laughs> You'll get ground into ash and it'll burn out to the top and it'll turn black and they'll say, a new pope has been born. <laughs> <laughs> but they'll want to keep the Mission Impossible franchise going. Mm. And what better way than Ethan Hunt's child, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Hunt. <laughs> it's perfect. It's so good. And then Zombie so Tom comes back. Oh. He's like, this is the real dead reckoning. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, still haven't seen the brand new. I mean, it's not brand new anymore, but the most recent Mission Impossible. Is it worth I, it? Yes. Okay. They all are. They're fun. They're fun. Have you looked? Have you Googled that hex code yet? No. Is what I should I have been? Yes. I told you to do that like five times this episode. Just Googling the hex code. I want to see if it gives you an answer to something. I mean, it just gives me what the green. Uh, but you're saying it's green. green values are. Oh. It's oh well. Okay, so if we're going by CMYK percentages and RGB percentages, it's forty six percent green with RGB CMYK, which is cyan, magenta, yellow, and Kelvin, <laughs> potassium. Kelvin. <laughs> <laughs> but it's black. It's seventy seven percent yellow. But it's not a fair thing to... I don't know. It's not giving us any in information. Have we just created the new uh, green needle? <laughs> Blue, black? This is this is basically just chartreuse. Is really chartreuse? Chartreuse is basically what a tennis ball is. I thought chartreuse was like a dark color, like a red. No, chartreuse no sounds like a word that's like a crimson or something. Red okay, gets all wait. the coolest names, by the way. Maroon, Crimson. G find me Scarlet. what you think chartreuse is. Like, make the color chartreuse in Photoshop real quick. I t I'm not opening Photoshop for that. <laughs> <laughs> chartreuse is a liquor? Don't, you can't look up chartreuse. It'll taint the idea of what it is to you. I just told you what I think chartreuse is, which I thought was like crimson. Like a dark... No. Like a really nice, rich, like bloody red, I thought chartreuse was. It sounds no. like that's what it should be. It's a cool word to say. It should be a cool color to look at. But it's Crimson not. Green. No one likes chartreuse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's almost exact. Wow. Chartreuse is straight up tennis ball. So we need to say that. We need to put that out there. It's not green. It's not yellow. It's chartreuse. But something in between. Chartreuse. I want to make an entire chartreuse outfit and go out in public with it and blind everybody with the sheer dominance of luminosity that I have. You could. It could be kind of cool. Well, yeah, I can do a lot of things, but I like talking about it and pretending I'm going to do it rather than actually doing it. And not doing it. I like your hat today, Sean. It Thank gives you. Me fisherman vibes. Thank you. I was out on the lake. Were you? I was like going trout. There is a foghorn in Brighton that keeps going off. I'm so jealous. I don't know what it's from. I was outside I one day reading my book horns. and I heard a and I was like, are the tripods coming? What is happening? I love a foghorn. Mm. I do too, but not when I don't know where it's from. I know I live in a seaside town, but I've never oh. heard I've never heard a foghorn so. here before. What if it's just you know like I heard last night? a boat just coming up on the shore? What, what did you hear last night? Well, it's a problem that future Ethan will have to deal with because it only struck once and then never again, which means it will strike more soon. That means and it was I'll lightning. Never I'll never know when my smoke detector went... <laughs> <laughs> just once, just one toll of the bell... Oh, you the know battery's what, starting to give. You know what that means, right? It'll be back. Just put a new battery in. Oh, no, I know what it means, but I won't. 
<laughs> Why? Not, I, that always it... bemuses me when people are like doing a TikTok or something and you hear it in the background and everyone's like, Why? They don't you just put the battery in? Well, because it... <sighs> And I don't know why they they do this, but it's because it's a different battery. It's like a six volt battery or nine volt battery or whatever. It's yeah. not nine volts. I think it's wherever six you volts. buy a battery, it's going to be right next to those. Yeah, I know. But how often are you going out and you buying have batteries? A battery kit. You showed me a battery sorter that you got, and it I had did. every type of battery in it. It even had a thing in it to tell you how much your battery is left in it. Yeah. And you were showing it off, and I not using the batteries. Well, I don't think there's the right battery in there. <laughs> you have an Amazon. Get a battery. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're not wrong. Hey, man, you're not wrong. But film a TikTok with it in the background first when it starts going off, because otherwise you <laughs> don't go through the rite of passage. That's true. That is very true. This is true, as I say. I, we should make I, merch that says, this is true. I say that all the time now, because I pointed it out that you say it. Me and Evelyn always say it. <laughs> and now you don't say it anymore. I don't say it anymore. I don't say this is true anymore, because did you, I've did become self-conscious. Did you get insecure about it? Did I make you insecure? No, it's just now I I notice when I say this is true, and so now I don't say it anymore. But that's not bad. What if you it's like, say, like, I point out that you say this all the time, or and. And then you're like, is that I why can't, can't say it anymore. Is that why you stopped telling me that you love me? Because I <laughs> pointed out that you say I love you. And now you're self conscious. Every time I said it, you would just say, This is true. <laughs> I love you. This is true. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. That's the new Han Solo. Like, like, I, I love, love you. you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. This is true. <laughs> I want someone to make that scene and put it on Twitter who was like, I love you. This is true. <laughs> this is true. Somebody Freezes in carbonite. Oh, what a way to go. What anyway, to go. thank you guys for listening, watching, laughing, loving, jerking mm. it. Jelking? Anyone out there jelking? Hope not. Anyone out there dangerous. edging? Gooning? Hmm? Ooh. Docking? Gooners ride. Rise up. Docking? Ooh, that's rare. Very few Ooh. people out there docking right now. <laughs> we gotta come up with a new one. Like, anybody out there scorping right now? Ooh. That's that's when you try and get your dick in your own asshole. <laughs> like a scorpion Whoa! tail. <laughs> no, there's gotta be a word for that already, right? Oh, turntable. I don't Anyone turnstyling out there? <laughs> <laughs> the the penis is so malleable. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody out there making clay pots? Oh my god! Real quick before we end the episode, did you see Drake's penis? Uh, what? Did you see Drake's penis? No. Did it he leak? Did? Yeah. Yeah. I, that feels like a violation of someone's privacy. Hold on. We have let to me Google that real couple, quick. <laughs> just a couple seconds. Hold on. Let me uh, let me show you what it looked like. Hold on. I thought you were going to pull down your pants. I'm kind of scared to see what he's going to come back in with. He might come back in with a drawing or an apple. I'm, I don't know. It could be anything. Maybe he's made a diorama. This is kind of what it was like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It was not entirely flaccid, but just so tubular, and he was... <laughs> it was so <laughs> radical! <laughs> it was... He was, like, flopping it around in a Wait, way that made me uncomfortable. Why did this happen? Did he uh, willingly put it out there and then was like, oops, this isn't the DMs? <laughs> no, somebody leaked it, and then I think he actually posted about it on Instagram with, like, a joke where it was like, oh, all right, whoops. Well, of course you'd where say he, that like, if you have really a care. giant floppy cock. He's like, ha, yeah. yes, the world saw it now. <laughs> it was just a little unsettling because I almost wished that it was just, this is such a weird sentence. I almost wish that it was just a bit more erect in the video. <laughs> it was unsettling how how much movement there was. <laughs> you know. And now, Sean. He did play with Ninja, you know, and Ninja said there you. wasn't enough movement. It's up to you now. I'm not going to make you do this. But 
I, if you look up Drake's penis, <laughs> and I want you to tell me if this it's like on on Twitter, it's trending Drake's penis and Dyson, <laughs> <laughs> and then for some reason it always trends with everything. We are so back right underneath it. We are so back. Oh, we didn't even talk about the Elden Ring DLC trailer. I haven't watched it yet. Oh, you it fucking silly I... whore. <laughs> I know it happened before I woke up, and I woke up a little late, and I had to rush to therapy, so I haven't even seen it. Yet. Oh my god, you wouldn't even have gone through therapy. Oh my god, you Isn't have exciting. Drake's crown of thorns <laughs> around your head. <laughs> Drake's penis is all around my head. Sean, will you look at Drake's penis <laughs> and tell me if my <laughs> my Dyson? I'll metaphor do it for you. Good. I already know <laughs> that it's true and accurate. And if he's made jokes about it already, then you look very dashing. I know. Anyway, Elden Ring DLC trailer, go watch it. It's awesome, perfect, no notes. I love it. Nothing but fucking gas. Nothing but gas, no notes. But Drake's penis, many notes. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of notes. A4 sheet of paper. Oh, I didn't like it. Anyway, we've got to end this episode before this episode ends us. Thank you all so much for listening. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I hope you do Stay too. Stay leaky. And come home soon. <laughs> oh, God! Brain leak! <laughs>